Compsognathus is a small bipedal dinosaur with long hind legs and a long tail, which it's used for balance. Its forelimbs are smaller than its hind legs and are endowed with three fingers equipped with strong claws that are adapted to capture prey. Its delicate skull was narrow and long with a pointed snout. The skull had five pairs of fenestrae, or skull openings, the longest being the orbit's eye sockets. The eyes were large in proportion to the rest of the skull. Compsognathus could measure up to 30 centimeters and its average length was one meter. In Turok evolution, the Comsognathus are very weak enemies that rarely, but still do, attack Talset. They appear in chapters 136 and the zoo. So, oh, and a neat touch, you can actually play as a compu when you get killed in multiplayer. That's quite a cool idea. Yeah, these things I remember um, playing the game. They are fairly weak, but definitely in large packs can be a nuisance. Um, a bit like Chavs, really. So, The Uteraptors of Turok Evolution share the same appearance as those from previous versions. They are present in the early jungle levels and the dark jungle. To add to this, variants also have blue and orange skin while others are black with white stripes. So these are fairly standard enemies early in the game. Naturally, being a raptor, uh, they move fast and can strike hard in packs. The T-Rex, um, I think everybody probably has heard of the T-Rex. Remember from the old Jurassic Park film, classic film that when the T-Rex was um, near them and you know <laughs> the, the water vibrating on the desk. Boom. Oh my gosh, and then when it comes close, the old Stay still, and it can't see, or hear you, or smell you, or anything <laughs> So the Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as the T-Rex, is the large theropod dinosaur that appears throughout the Two Rock franchise in the in um, Two Rock Evolution. Let's have a look. So we first encounter uh, T Rex in Two Rock Evolution in uh, the middle of the third chapter during the level Summit Battle. And that gives you a clue as to uh, where you might fight the T Rex. Uh, it's a wild one. Uh, that you encounter eating a brachiosaur. In terms of health, it's fairly weak, um, but it's early in the game, so you don't have the best weapons. But even so, like its attack can still do a lot of damage. Um, and that's um, interesting that the coloration of the two, the the T-Rex in Evolution is different to some of the other games. And it's also different in that the one in that is um, free of any armor. To, it's just a, a, a natural one in this, which is um, pretty cool. I think that's kind of how I prefer the T-Rex, to be honest. Okay, so the plesiosaur, or plesiosaur, if you're American, are first encountered in the level Death from the Deep in Chapter 6. They will attack the player if close enough, and they can be killed easily if they are above the water. If the player is at a very high area, they can attack from all the way below due to their long necks. So a cool and interesting addition. Credit to the game developers for you know, making a model and programming a plesiosaur into the game when it only had a fairly limited role. Uh, as many will know, plesiosaur is essentially what people think of when they say the Loch Ness Monster. A plesiosaur is supposed to be a similar or the same sort of species. So if you ever wondered what the Loch Ness Monster looks like, 
um, apparently it would be close to one of these. Lumbering behemoths that are armed with dual rocket launchers. Get too close and they will crush Turok like a bug. The Triceratops is a massive bulky quadruped. It has a large head with a massive thrill with three horns on its face. In Turok Evolution, the Triceratops retains a very similar appearance to in previous games where only the coloration is changed. So in Evolution they appear in one level only into the jungle there are two, one adult and one juvenile. The adult will easily get angled and will proceed to ram you with its horns. The attack is devastating and can be compared to getting bitten by the T-Rex in Summit Battle. It is fairly fast on its feet and can also take a lot of damage. However, the juvenile is harmless and will run from the player. So Ankylosaurus is an Ankylosaur and the biggest of its kind, reaching 9 meters in length, standing 2 meters tall and weighing around 8 tons. This animal has armour made of bony plates and bone nodules covering its back from head to tail, the latter of which ended with a bony club that it uses against predators. Its shell is topped with horns to make sure no predator harms them. These dinosaurs make their first appearance in Chapter 3 of Turok Evolution near the end of the level Descent. They are shown to be massive, imposing and very hostile. They are yellow and brown in colour and they have large silver and black rockets mounted onto their shoulders. They also have a massive club tail that they will swing if the player approaches their hindquarters. So these are pretty strong uh, enemies and the rocket launchers definitely cruelly adapted by this leg with the launchers on their back um, a cool enemy all in all um, but um, not um, as massive as the, uh, the dinosaur that you uh, you actually ride at some point in the game um, they're, they're, they're actually small compared to that but still pretty chunky pretty pretty fierce enemy so moving on so last but not least Bruckner's Tyrannosaurus Rex which is a boss fight encountered in Vengeance in Turok Evolution the T-Rex is mounted by Captain Tobias Bruckner and it is armed to the teeth with weaponry to match Talset's own arsenal it has an array of weapons including a flamethrower, rocket launcher and minigun and is pretty tough to kill. However, you can actually fell it quicker if you manage to get a tree to fall on it. However, this is not uh, as easy as it sound, may sound. A great boss and a great way to round off the dinosaurs in to Rocky Evolution. Cheers. So the Styracosaurus, uh, one that appears uh, very similar to a uh, Triceratops. Except it is uh, rather larger than the Triceratops in the game. This dinosaur also has one massive horn on its nose in comparison to the three horns of the Triceratops. The Sleg added weaponry also adds two flags to its flanks. So it's a terrifying beast and it's actually stronger than the T-Rex found in uh, Summit Battle. I recall facing this in Evolution, uh, it's one where it, it takes quite a lot of rockets to kill and especially if it ambushes you at close range can be very dangerous. The attacks being a frontal ram, 
If the blow collects, the player will have over half their health drained and will be sent flying backward a great distance. The second attack is a barrage of fire from the twin miniguns mounted on its back saddle. These can easily chew through the player's health and also fire when the dinosaur is charging, which can make for an instant game over for the player when coupled with aforementioned RAM. Yeah, so this is this guy is pretty spiky, uh, if you'll excuse the pun. Like, uh, you you tend to, you're gonna have to kind of duck behind walls and fight him on the back foot. 